Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rekakwadash, double lines to the apostles and the elders of great millstone who taught me his truth, and the salutations to the elect scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. My name is Amuan Gobar, back with another lesson, Lord willing to edify and to feed the lambs of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, through the Holy Spirit, Rekakwadash. Lord wants to be quick and edifying, lesson straight to the point. And this is um from the um, UK Express or express.co.uk. And it says, World War Three fears saw so as Israel warns Biden presidency may provoke war with Iran. All right, so they're speaking of wars. All right, they're having war talk. And there's another article as I read where it says Joe Biden may be the wartime president. And, um, you know, these are the times we're living in. A lot of things, prophecies are going to speed up. And we know that World War Three will be the war to end all wars. And World War Three is the ultimate prophecy that's going to happen, you know, and a uh, brother just on um, not too long ago in the last video I did just sent me a, oh, he pretty much sta stated that the UK chief of defense um, said that World War Three is also likely possible. And I'm going to get that that article also, you know, so World War Three fears. So as Israel warns Biden presidency may provoke war with Iran, how that's going to happen, we're going to see. You know, we're going to see how that, exactly how it's going to play out, play out through the spirit. All right. So we got this right here. This is um another article, Express, UK Express. It says, World War Three, now real risk. Defense chief issues stern warning of uh, world conflict escalation. All right. Now, he, he actually says something in this video. I'm going to play it. either because they don't realize the implications of their actions lead to an escalation which means that more people perhaps get involved more weaponry gets involved and before you can contain it it leads to the sides ending up in a full-blown war and if that happens as we saw in the last century i mean we have to remember history might not repeat itself but it has a rhythm and if you look back at the last century before both world wars i think it was unarguable that there was escalation that led to the miscalculation which ultimately led to war at a scale we would hopefully never see again so are you saying that's a real threat that there could be another world war i'm saying it's a risk um, and i think we need to be conscious of those risks and that's why remembrance matters because if you look back at history hopefully you learn from their experience and you make sure that you're very cautious about how you manage the sorts of regional conflicts that we see playing out in the world today yep and that's heavy, you know. That's heavy that you brought up um, the previous, the previous wars. All right. I'm gonna get Matthews, but before I do that, let me go to Revelation, uh, the ninth chapter. Let's see, nine and eleven, I think, nine and twelve. It says, "One war was passed, and behold, two. Excuse me. One war was passed, and behold, there cometh two woes hereafter, more hereafter." So war was talking about world war, or it's talking about war, death. All right, that first woe, which woe means death, is talking about World War One. World War One is past, and behold, there cometh two more woes hereafter, meaning World War Two and then World War Three. Now World War Two already happened. All right. Um, this is our Revelation 11 and 14. It says the second woe, World War Two, the second woe. The second mass death on, on the world scale. The second woe was passed, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. Now, the third woe is World War Three. Okay? The third woe is World War Three. Alright, which is spoken of in a, in a prophecy as well. Now, what they're talking about here is es uh, escalation on World War Three. All right. It says, speaking to Sophie Ridge on Sky News, Sir, I mean, General Sir Nick Carter warned the coronavirus pandemic and the social economic instability currently crippling the world could lead to World War Three. The chief of the UK defense staff warned regional conflicts across the globe could escalate as sides miscalculate the gravity of their actions. All right. So this is major. OK, this is major. And. This World War Three can pop off due to, you know, the escalation in, in this whole crisis, so to speak. One way or another, somehow, it can't happen that way. You know, 
a nation, you know, a nation could a nation could do something. These 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 rats can do something that's gonna cause a all out war. All right, these so called, you know, Jews, you know, these damn Amalekites could, could cause something that could bring forth an all out war. All right. So the the Lord prophesied and, and he Lord the Lord told us that these things will happen in the last days, in the latter days. All right, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, and I'll start at 1. And Yahweh Shah went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him for to shew him the building of the temple. And Yahweh Shah said to them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, there shall not, not be left. There shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And he sat, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privily, privately saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? All right, so the disciples were always inquiring about the end of the world, as all the right, righteous prophets have been doing. Okay, because while the righteous prophets did not <laughs> enjoy being in, in, in slavery and captivity, they, they wanted the kingdom to come. They wanted righteousness to come. Unlike other Israelites who have their part in this society, in this world, who's comfortable here in Babylon, who don't want the coming of our Lord to take place, you know? So they asked well, about the signs, and Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the anointed, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So we hearing of wars and rumors of wars. All right, that's that's all rumors of wars because until it happen, until it's yet to happen and take place and and battles start popping off, then it's all just a rumor. They're all just talking about it. You know what I'm saying? So that that's a rumor. You know, but the time is coming where it won't be no rumors anymore. It's gonna actually take place. You know, so we living in this time. It says, for nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. And we're seeing this also. You know, nation rising against nation, people against people, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be fam you have famines. Famine is a food shortage. All right? Famine is a food shortage. This, this food shortage is taking place right now. Pestilence is diseases. You know, coronavirus is a so-called pestilence. It says in earthquakes in diverse places, plenty of earthquakes happening. It says all these are the beginning of sorrows. So this is just the beginning of the sorrows that the Lord talked about. It says, then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And that's going to happen to some of the members of the elect are going to be taken up, you know, taken up to be afflicted. Some will be put to death. Um, what is it? Revelation 20 and 4. All for the testimony of Yahweh Shah. Alright, it says, And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. So you're going to have people that are going to be offended when these afflictions rise. And many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So the love of many is going to wax cold in these evil days. That's in 2nd Ezra, um, the 15th chapter and the 16th chapter. It says, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So the, those that endure to the end, the, those that um, keep the faith till Yahweh Shai come back are going to be the ones that are going to be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. And this word have gone out throughout the four corners of the earth. And how did it happen? Via the YouTube. Okay, that's how it happened via the YouTube because you got guys out there talking about going on YouTube is not doing the work. Well, if going on YouTube is not doing the work, then how the hell did GMS camp spread throughout the four corners of the earth by YouTube? That's plain and simple by YouTube. Now, if, if they, you know, hey, thank the most high that the apostles and the elders didn't have the mentality like some of these niggas out here today because that means the world would have never went out. The world would have never went out if the if the if they had the mentality like these niggas out here, man. You know, but that's not so because the Lord set these men up and ordained them to be, you know, the prophets unto the nations and to to teach the word, all right, and to raise up fruits. Okay, so the word have been preached throughout the four corners of the earth, and then that's why we see the end coming because the word is already going out. All right, so we living in that time, you know, it's just. 
wars and rumors of wars. You know what I'm saying? World War Three now real risk. Yup, World War Three is now real risk. Defense chief issues stern warning of world conflict escalation. It's gonna escalate, man. It's gonna escalate. Twenty twenty one is gonna be a hell of a year. And we know also according to prophecy, let me get let me jump down to the twenty second verse. It says, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days should be shortened. 2021 is going to be a hell of a year. All right, because Esau is going to have the vaccines pumping. He's going to have the vaccines pushing. Okay. And, you know, we can see the chip being pushed also. You know, like you got, you got, you got, see, I just watched a video. Brother just recently uploaded a video going back in 2016 with the apostles was speaking. And... You know, they was talking about how Nate said that it's June, ain't no microchips, it's June. Hey, don't be surprised if the world is, if, if majority of the world is, is chipped by June. You know what I'm saying? For real. The most high is like that. You, you could straight up just mock at, mock at a person <laughs> by having something like that happen, you know? You know, put you to shame. You know, confound you for mocking his word. You know, so don't be surprised, man, because things happen real, things are going to escalate and happen real fast. Like the Lord said... 22 in Matthew 24 22 and except those days should be shortened there should no flesh be saved but for the elect's sake those days should be shortened so them times are going to be shortened the Lord is going to speed things up and bring this man to an end before he destroy all flesh all right especially the flesh of the elect but the Lord ain't going to allow that to happen you know so we almost out of here man just endure stay strong stay faithful and keep pushing with that I'm going to say shalom to the elect till next time shalom